Hi everybody, our story this week is called Mr. Seahorse by Eric Carle and he wrote the Hungry Caterpillar stories. And the first page. Mr. and Mrs. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea. Mrs. Seahorse began to wiggle and twist this way and that. It's time for me to lay my eggs, she said. Can I help? asked Mr. Seahorse. Oh, yes, thank you, said Mrs. Seahorse. And she laid her eggs into a pouch on Mr. Seahorse's belly. I'll take good care of our eggs, said Mr. Seahorse. I promise. Seahorses are very special creatures because it's the boy who looks after the babies. Usually in species, it's the girl. But these ones, it's always the boy. As Mr. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea, he passed right by a group of trumpet fish hidden in a patch of reeds. Can you see the reeds? These are really good pages because they've got cellophane on them, so it looks interesting. But before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Stickleback? asked Mr. Seahorse. Delighted, replied Mr. Stickleback. I just built a nest and right away Mrs. Stickleback laid her eggs into it. Now I am taking good care of them until I hatch. Keep up the good work, said Mr. Seahorse, and he swam on his way. As Mr. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea, he passed right by a lionfish hidden behind a coral reef. Can you see him hiding? But before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Tilapia, I think that says, asked Mr. Seahorse. Mr. Tilapia couldn't answer, his mouth was full of eggs. I know, I know, said Mr. Seahorse. Mrs. Tilapia laid her eggs now you are taking good care of them until they hatch. Mr. Tilapia nodded his head. You must be very happy, said Mr. Seahorse, and swam on his way. Fancy keeping your eggs in your mouth. As Mr. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea, he passed right by, I wonder who's going to be behind this one, a pair of leaf fish hidden among the seaweed. Can you see them through the seaweed? Yeah. But before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Curtis? asked Mr. Seahorse. Perfectly fine, replied Mr. Curtis. Mrs. Curtis laid her eggs and I have stuck them on my head. Now I am taking good care of them until they hatch. You are doing a good job, said Mr. Seahorse, and he swam on his way. Have you noticed that Mr. Seahorse's belly is getting bigger? Look how big it is now. As Mr. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea, he passed right by, who's this one going to be? A stonefish hidden behind a rock. Can you see him? He's very well hidden. Before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Pipe? asked Mr. Seahorse. Couldn't be better, replied Mr. Pipe. Mrs. Pipe laid her eggs along my belly, and now I am taking good care of them until they hatch. You should feel proud of yourself, said Mr. Seahorse, and he swam on his way. But before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Bullhead? asked Mr. Seahorse. Tip top, replied Mr. Bullhead. Mrs. Bullhead laid her eggs and the eggs are hatched. Now I'm babysitting. You are doing a fine job, said Mr. Seahorse and swam on his way. The time had come for the seahorse babies to be born. Look how big Mr. Seahorse's tummy is now. That little pouch he had has got bigger and bigger and there they all are coming out. Mr. Seahorse wiggled and twisted this way and that 
And at last the babies tumbled from Mr. Seahorse's pouch and swam away. One baby turned around and tried to come back into the pouch. Oh no, said Mr. Seahorse, I do love you, but now you're ready to be on your own. I think he's had enough. And that's it. Have a lovely holiday, stay safe, take care of yourselves, and I hope this snow stays for a little bit so you can have some fun in it. Bye.